Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As ranking member of the committee that you just mentioned, I'd like to uh, voice my strong support for H.R. 4686, the Cambodia Democracy Act, bipartisan legislation that I introduced along with my Democratic colleague, Alan Lowenthal. Uh, he and I are co-chairs of the Congressional Cambodia Caucus, and we're pleased to champion this legislation, which Ted Yoho first introduced uh, a couple years back. He has, of course, since retired. Um, I also want to thank Mr. Chairman uh, yourself uh, for working with us to bring this bill uh, to markup today and for your amendment, which updates the findings to address the fact that since 2017, uh, Prime Minister Hun Sen's repression unfortunately hasn't gotten any better. As my colleagues are aware, Hun Sen's latest crackdown on the opposition began in the run-up to Cambodia's 2018 elections. He arrested uh, Kem Soka, the leader of the Cambodia National Rescue Party, uh, on bogus charges and then proceeded to ban the whole party and then persecute other uh, leaders of that party. Hun Sen also shut down NGOs and independent media, including the National Democratic Institute and Radio Free Asia. Unfortunately, the crackdown has continued to this day. Hun Sen and his cronies have kept the bogus charges hanging over Kem Soka's head and prohibited him from participating in any political activity. They've also continued to target opposition politicians as well as civil society activists and journalists. In fact, starting last November, uh, they began mass trials against opposition party members. As a result, next year's commune elections will go forward without viable opposition uh, party representation. Uh, that means that once again, Cambodia's elections will not be free, nor will they be fair. Sadly, this crackdown is nothing new. Hun Sen has ruled Cambodia since 1985 and has stayed in power by using the apparatus of the state to stifle meaningful political opposition. In fact, he's been in office longer than any other leader in Southeast Asia. It's time for repression in Cambodia to end. While the European Union revoked some of its everything but arms trade preferences for Cambodia, Hun Sen hasn't really faced any stiff consequences from the United States, and that's embarrassing. It's well past time that we crack down on his crackdown. That's why the Cambodia Democracy Act imposes sanctions on those who participated in Hun Sen's illegal, arbitrary attempt uh, to smother democracy. By targeting those directly responsible and holding them accountable, it's our hope that we can get Hun Sen and his cronies to realize that the only path forward for the country is to allow free and fair elections. The Cambodian people deserve no less, and we must stand with them in their quest for their democratic rights. Since the crackdown in 2017, Hun Sen has repeatedly claimed that he wants better relations with the U.S., but he is the one who has made this terrible situation continue uh, to this day. And in light of these points, Mr. Chairman, I want to thank you for bringing H.R. 4686 up for consideration today uh, and for your support. And I would urge my colleagues to support uh, the measure. 